Hey coin collectors and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel and today we're going to take a look at the 1960 half penny coin from the United Kingdom. Um, this is of course is the first portrait without the Brit Omn. In other words, uh, it does not say Brit Om or Queen of All Britons on here like the 1953 version did. And of course it was only the 1953 version that said Brit Om on it. So what does this one say on it? Well it says Elizabeth II, Dia Gracia, Regina, FD, Elizabeth II, by the grace of God, Queen and Defender of the Faith. And if we look at it, let's actually blow this one way up. And you notice this one looks a little different than the other ones. This one um, is has not been used much, but I think it's actually been cleaned. And look at the marks on here. All right, so let's take a look at the back of them. And again, we see this is this actually is kind of nice on the back in the sense that it has a lot of detail here. And so by cleaning it, they did bring this out, but they really um, kind of ruined the value. And it's not a huge value. United Kingdom, you can get it, you know, probably maybe get it for 50 cents. Okay, so let's look on this coin just because, uh, look at that. That's just amazingly nice there. I'm using um, my new, uh, the iPhone 12 camera and it's, it, there's a lot of differences in it, so you have to kind of adjust to it. But the HP here is for Thomas Humphrey Paget, who was the engraver of the back of this coin. It says half penny at the top. It says 1960 here. And you notice when you look at this coin that the front has the beads, but the back does not have the beads. The back of this coin essentially has these geared edges. And so these are not beads that got smushed. These were never beads. This is a kind of a geared edge on the back. And here's what I'm saying. So you see these, the beads on the front, geared edge on the back. They first started making it in 1954 and they made this one until 1970. If you get a 1970 version of this, it was only made for proof coins. So from 1967 on, they didn't make circulating versions. In 1967 they did. 68, 69, they didn't, 70, they didn't, but they did make a proof coin. All right, so one of the things that's really interesting to people sometimes is this idea of the half penny. In the United Kingdom, in Britannia, they had a number of half pennies. And so let's look at some from a, a, another country here. Now let's look at this one. Ah, look at that one. That's a Jersey half new penny from 1971. And of course, what that tells us is we have the three lions supon or lying down. That tells us that this is after decimalization. So there's Jersey. And what's on the front of the one from Jersey? Well, of course, this is the second portrait of Queen Elizabeth II wearing the girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara. Then here is the, oh, Guernsey. So let's get this one set up. All right, and you can tell it's Guernsey because it says Guernsey right here. Um, Ballywick of Guernsey in, in Latin. And there's another one. And then if we tip it over, we see that this is the half new penny, also from 1971, the year that many of the Commonwealth countries, including the United Kingdom, went to decimalization. Here's a weird one. It's a Cyprus, half piaster. And of course, Cyprus was part of uh, the United Kingdom. Uh, and then this is a 19... 49 version and guess who's on the front of this one ah queen elizabeth's father and let's look right down in here and we can see the initials the engraver of this coin also and that's queen elizabeth's father facing to the left do we have him on the actual united kingdom half penny we sure do here he comes and there he is george the six and so this is george the six crown george the six and this is from cyprus and this is george the six from uh, the United Kingdom, and this is, of course, the half penny. And of course, ah, look at this. It's not from United Kingdom. It's from Australia. Who knew? George Kruger Gray. It's, um, it's the uh, jumping kangaroo half penny from 1951 from Australia. And of course, we have the PL, the other engraver here. What else do we have? Ah, uh, let's get a real. George the Sixth. Can we tell the difference between the Australian one and the British one? 
All right, so this one is from the United Kingdom here, and how can we tell? Because we just turn it over like that. So, what's the difference? The end imp? Well, no, because the end imp um, ended in 1948. So, when in India became independent, they took off the Imperator or Emperor of India. So, in, in this, in 1948, Australia would have had the end imp on it also. So it is George VI, Brit Omnirex, King of all Britons, Defender of the Faith. And you do see, though, something, and that is that the HP is a little different, but that's mainly from wear, not from a different design. And if we go to the back, we see the same Humphrey Paget half penny. There are some variations in here. Uh, these Some of these coins with the waves and whether they're calm seas or stormy seas. And what does that mean? Well, if we look at this one, we see the seas are a little bit more wavy or stormy. This one, they're a little bit more flat. Uh, who else did the half penny? Well, guess who? Edward the Seventh, and again, Imperator of India, Omnirex, and this had the Britannia. So Britannia had the half penny on it until we hit 1937, and then we went to the uh, Sir Francis Drake's schooner. So there's Britannia holding the trident shield, uh, the waves out here. And this is the 1906. Who else had one? Ah, here's George the Seventh facing. All right, there's a 1902. It's George the Fifth facing to the left, and that, of course, is the 1918. And let's see who else. Oh, that's just a beat up one. Look at that one. No, oh, that's not from the United Kingdom. George the Sixth King Emperor. Where's this one from? Any ideas? Oh, it's the New Zealand half penny. It's a 1947. So there we go. George the Sixth King Emperor. So he's king of the United Kingdom, but he's also emperor of India. And we see that uh, it's the same Thomas Humphrey Paget, just with different uh, writing on the outside. And then, of course, this Maori uh, symbol from New Zealand. And last but not least, here's another um, half penny. Um, we know this is really old because it has the lighthouse and the ship on it. So in the older ones, there's a ship here and a lighthouse on the Britannia. And guess who's on the front? One of the older ones. It's Queen Victoria. And so this coin here has a hole in it, but I just love it anyway. It's probably worn as a bracelet. It's in 1884. And then there's one other Victoria here. And you can see that this is a 1862, again with the ship in the lighthouse when Britannia ruled the waves. All right, so that's our 1960 with a few friends. Again, remember, don't clean these if you want to sell them or get, trade them with a collector because they won't like the cleaned ones. If you want to be able to see everything on it, you can do that. But my advice to you would be just get a better quality one, and that might be the way to do it. That's all we have today from the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. We'd love to have you subscribe to our channel and leave any comments you have in the comments section.